this is the light wider. Check it out, dude. Hi, I'm Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com. This is the Great Go Light Rider. The Light Rider is a super affordable stroller. It is lightweight, weighing only 15 and a half pounds. If you're looking for a basic stroller with basic features, the Light Rider is something to consider. But just priced just north of $60, it's a great, great price. But in this instance, you're going to get what you pay for. So let's take a look. The Light Rider seat, it's wide. It's 14 inches wide, but it has a very short seat back at 17 inches. That is a problem with our taller children because it has a 40 pound weight capacity. So our taller, the four year old, he can fit in it. But the problem is, is his head, he's not gonna have any head support because the seat back is so short. But the measurement from the back of the seat all the way to the top of the canopy, it's a very tall 25 inches. So he does fit in the seat. The only problem with this short seat back is that when it's reclined, the piece in the back is gonna get in the way of his head. So that is where the short seat back does become a problem. Now we were very surprised to find only a three point harness. Most strollers these days have that more secure five point harness. So we would have liked to see a five point harness added to this one. Plus the buckle in the middle, the, um, the crotch strap buckle, it's not adjustable in any, in any way whatsoever. So if you have a smaller baby, you're not going to be able to tighten it. As if you have a chubbier kid, you're not going to be able to loosen it. So we're not really crazy about the buckle being only three point and having an unadjustable crotch strap. Now, what we do like, there's a big large baby tray, which is nice, a lot of room for baby to play. There's a little cup holder here. Just note, this small cup holder isn't gonna fit those big sippy cups though. So we would've kinda liked to see that a little bit um, bigger. Plus, it is a removable tray, but, you know, not a swing away tray. So you do have to pop it off in order to get it off. But, so, you know, that's a good way for your child to get in and out, or you could just leave the tray off altogether. Now, the seat has a reclined position. Only two. It's upright or halfway back. And that's it. We would have liked to see a lot more recline positions too. At least one. It does not recline flat, so you aren't going to be able to put a newborn directly in the seat. That is as far back as it's going to go. And as you can see, I did have to use two hands. There are two buttons on either side. You just push them in and that's going to let it recline back. That's ha halfway back and upright. Those are their two recline positions. Now there's a footrest here. It's a non-adjustable footrest. Um, there is no leg rest, but this is kind of padded here and your child will set their feet here. Now the seat padding, it's, you know, it's not a luxury seat padding by any means, but again, it's, a, it's an economy stroller, so it's not going to cost you a lot. It's easy to clean, but it's not very soft and, you know, it's not extra padded or anything, so it's not an extra comfy seat for your child, but it'll get your child from A to B. Let's talk canopies. Canopy on the light rider, it's not that great. It's not going to sufficiently shade your child, so you're going to need a canopy extension with this one. There is a peekaboo window. It's rather small in the back. It is shaded, but there is no cover to cover it to keep all of the sun out um, from shining in on your child. Now the handlebar. The handlebar, it's not adjustable. It is 38 inches from ground to where you put your hands. Now if your average height, it's going to be fine for you, but if you're a little bit taller, all of our taller parents, it's going to be a little bit short. Now, the parent tray. I love parent trays, and I love the fact that it has one. Now, this one has two cup holders and a space in the middle to put your essentials. You can put your wallet and your keys. Now, there is no cover, so you can't, you know, keep them out of, you know, plain view, but it's nice that there is a space. And just to know, this cup holder right here is a little bit shallow, so if you have a water bottle, it might tip over. Um, but I like the cup holders. My only complaint is that there's two screws. The um, parent tray flips up like that very, very easily. It's because it's screwed in in the front with two screws. What we'd like to see is it attach here a little bit better so it didn't accidentally flip up all the time on us. Now let's talk storage. The storage, it is a very large basket underneath. As you can see, I have my large diaper bag. Easily fits in there and I could even get my purse in there as well. Plus, when the seat is reclined, I can still get to the basket, so that's a nice feature. The Light Rider, it rolls on six and a half inch wheels. The front ones are double wheels and the rear ones are single wheels. Now they're not the most, you know, high end wheels. They are cheap and they probably will start to squeak after a while. We've heard a lot of complaints about that. Um, there is a front suspension system, but again, it's not going to, you know, it's going to absorb a few of the bumps, but it's going to be a bumpy ride. If you take this off, this is a smooth surface stroller. So if you take it into grass or playground mulch, it's going to bump your child around quite a bit. If you're going to do that though, I would suggest locking the front wheels. All you have to do is each wheel in individually locks and that's going to lock it straight to handle the rubber train just a bit better. And the rear wheels, it has um, a lock on each wheel. You're going to have to lock them both individually. You can do it with your hand. Normally you do it with your foot though. 
and the maneuverability, it's good. It's not a one-handed stroller, but you know what? I can push it. It's two hands. It's an economy stroller, so it's not going to roll like the fancy ones, but it's going to get you from A to B. The stroller is very easy to fold, and it has a one-handed fold. The only problem is that you do, if you do do it one-handed, you're going to destroy your baby train. Let me show you. All you have, there's a white button here. Push it with your thumb. Twist with one hand. Set that. And as you can see, it slams your baby tray onto the floor. Now this is carpet. Imagine what it's going to look like when it slams on concrete time after time. It is going to scratch up the front of your baby tray like no other. Now, it has a standing fold and it has an automatic lock, which I love. Now the only problem is, if you don't want to ruin your baby tray, because this is plastic, it's going to completely, you know, get scratched up and everything. How you're going to want to fold it is you're going to want to fold it with two hands. Now you fold it the same way with two hands, it's just you're going to have to bring your hand to bring that tray up to bring it down like that. That's going to prevent you from scratching this up. It's still going to lock, it's still going to do a complete standing fold, which I like. And at 15 and a half pounds, it's really, really lightweight. Now, it's not the most compact package in the world. It's about the size of a full size stroller, so it's still going to take up quite a bit of room in your trunk. But it's very, very light, so it's going to be easy on the muscles. Now, unfolding it very easy to do. Unlock your, your lock, pull up your handlebar, give it a shake until it locks into place. And every time, you are going to need to lift the basket back up into place. That is going to have to be done every time. But then you're ready to go. A nice feature of the Light Rider is that it can become a travel system with any of the Graco infant car seats. I have here a snug ride, and it snaps right in. Very easy to do. It sets on your baby tray. You snap it in, and there's actually a red safety piece over here that you're going to put onto your infant car seat to secure it even more. The nice thing about the travel system is that the, if you put the handlebar back a little bit, your two canopies are going to blend together to keep your child completely protected from the sun and the elements. The Light Rider is an economy stroller and the best features of it is the price at $60 and the large basket underneath. Everything else, you know what, it's economy features. So if you need an economy stroller, the Light Rider might be it. And this is the review of the Grego Light Rider by Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com. For the most up-to-date news and reviews, check out my blog at ratedbymom.com.